Je t'adore, yeah, you make me feel it. Je t'adore, and I really mean it. You got me falling to the floor. Belgium has a brand new song. Hey, Eurofans, bonjour Belgique. Hello, Belgia. So, we have a song for Belgium for 2019. Now, this has been much anticipated, and I think we can agree that 2015, 2016, 2017 were very successful years for Belgium. Yes, there was a bit of a stumble last year, and Belgium didn't qualify for the grand final, but I feel it in my waters that a Belgian victory is forthcoming. They are putting a lot more energy and effort into their Eurovision entries. So, Will there be a winner this year? We have Elliot and Wake Up. Now, I'm not going to put the full video on like I have done recently. I heard today that there have been some copyright strikes going around with some Eurovision reaction videos, so I'm just going to play it safe. And um, to be fair, I don't think you would have seen this song for the first time watching my video. I think you would have seen it before, but we can play a bit of it and let's have a chat. So, Elliot, wake up Belgium. Very excited. Now, I have heard it, so I know what's coming, and I think this start with this electronic 80s beat, it's great. It grabs me straight away. I'm sucked in. I'm enticed. I think this is exciting. I do. I really, really do. This is a strong opener. And this is well done. This is, you've got to respect that this is a well-produced music video and a lot of thought has gone into this. Again, yes, I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. This is taking me somewhere. And then it changes. <laughs> the beat changes, the tempo changes. It's like Icebreaker from 2016. I love that. Is it working here? Is it working for you? I'm struggling with this chorus. And it goes again. Back to that great verse, that great chorus. Now, I'm going to stop it there because it pretty much, that's, that's it all the way through. There is no tempo change apart from the chorus and the verse. There is no key change. The song doesn't do anything very different and it just does that all the way through. And that is my problem with this because I want more. The opening is strong. The verses are strong. The chorus just dives and I'm not a music expert by any means at all but I always thought that verses should be taking you somewhere and then the chorus lifts you off. Um, having a song that has strong verses but not so strong choruses for me I don't think that works um, and that is my problem with this song. However saying that this is a well-produced entry and what is striking me about this is the potential for great staging. There's a lot Belgium can do with this, and I'm expecting great staging. And if they do that, I think this will qualify. Um, it isn't my favourite. I think 2015 was better, 2016 was better, 2017 was better. Um, I don't hate it. I don't dislike it. I'm kind of just in the middle about it. I. It will qualify it's not, I can't see this winning for Belgium. Um, top 10, it's staging dependent. Um, revamp, I'm not sure if they'll do a revamp. I'm not really sure what they can do with it for a revamp. Um, but it's an effort. It's a respected effort. Um, but I don't think we're going to Brussels in 2020. Um, but that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know. And I will see you soon. Au revoir. Touch scenes.